Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on our IST QBE AI tester certification. We are in chapter 8 talking about testing AI specific quality characteristics and moving on to the next segment which is of course the last topic of this chapter as well which is 8.8 .8, test objectives and acceptance criteria. Well, we have been talking about how exactly the test objectives and acceptance criteria can be defined for AI-based systems right from our chapter 1. And finally, in chapter 8, we are talking about it with some good examples to tell you how exactly we can determine the acceptance criteria for different aspects of AI-based systems. So, the test objectives and acceptance criteria for a system needs to be based on the perceived product risk. Of course, that's the most important thing to understand here that if you just drive your acceptance criteria on the functionality, it may cater only the functionality. But when you go with respect to the risk, it certainly helps you to even mitigate the risk and keep a track of how much risk is mitigated. If in case you have anything remaining, you can know exactly what is remaining and how to mitigate that further. So these risks can often be identified from an analysis of the required quality characteristics. The quality characteristics of an AI-based system has been already discussed in the chapter 2 and system includes those which are traditionally considered as a part of ISO IEC 25010. That is functional suitability, performance efficiency, compatibility, usability, reliability, security, maintainability, and portability. But should also include a consideration of all of the remaining other specs which are related to AI-based systems in particular. For example, adaptability. Now adaptability, of course, we did have discussion, so I don't want to make this tutorial longer. If you really want to understand further, go back to the chapter two, Look at the non-functional characteristics of AI-based systems and then come back here to look at the acceptance cri characteristics. Sorry, acceptance criteria. We're talking about adaptability. Uh, check the system. So acceptance criteria, typical acceptance criteria to be included here can be check the system still functions correctly and meets non-functional requirements when it adopts to a change in its environment. This may be implemented as a form of automated regression testing check the time the system takes to adopt to a change in its environment and check the resources used when the system adapts to a change in its environment. So put together, adaptability is all about when we have transformations in the environmental conditions, the system adapts to it, how frequently, how fast, and what kind of resources just gets used to it, right? Talking about the next one, of course, is the flexibility. Now, flexibility talks about the flexibility and freedom of moving things here and there. So consider how the system copes in context outside the initial specification. This may be implemented as a form of automated regression testing executed in the changed operational environment. Check the time the system takes and or the resources used to change itself to manage a new context. So the more you have the flexibility, the better you have the, you know, adaptively at the same time. So these are the two uh, parameters which you can take into consideration to define as an example of acceptance criteria. Similarly, when it comes to evolution, which is transforming over a period of time, check how well the system learns from its own experiences, check how well the system copes when the profile of the data changes, which is like concept drift. So these are some of the examples, let's continue further. Similarly, the next aspect what we have for you is autonomy. Now, autonomy have several acceptance criteria that are relevant to it. We do have check how the system responds when it is forced outside of the operational envelope in which it is expected to be fully autonomous. Check whether the system can be persuaded to request human intervention when it should be fully autonomous. So, there are like general generic things, right, which we have covered in the past. We are just trying to bring up the acceptance criteria related to it. So autonomous system are generally supposed to do everything on their own, but it might have relevant interaction with the human beings by giving back the control to them. And if any point of time you have to, you know, say that this is fully autonomous system and doesn't require human intervention at all, then you should check that AI based system are prompting human to interfere or not, which is incorrect. The next one is transparency, interpretability, and explainability. Here, the acceptance criteria are 
check transparency by reviewing the ease of accessing the algorithm and data set. Second, check interpretability and explainability by questioning system users or if the actual system users are not available, people with similar background can be used. So more of like measure the transparency, which is access to the information and interpretability and explainability is from the users that will you be able to understand what AI system is trying to convey you as an output. The next one is freedom from inappropriate biases. So here the acceptance criteria could be where systems are likely to be affected by bias, then this can be tested by using an independent bias free test suite or by using expert reviewers. Com second, the compared the test results using external data such as census data in order to check for unwanted biases on inferred variables, which is external validity testing. Similarly, when it comes to the ethics, which is another quality characteristics of the AI based systems in particular. So here the acceptance criteria could be check the system against a suitable checklist such as EC assessment list for trustworthy artificial intelligence, which supports the key requirements outlined by the ethics guidelines of trustworthy artificial intelligence AI. So this is again like very straightforward. So it totally makes sense that what exactly do you need to do when it comes to making sure that ethics are meeting the expectations, the acceptance criteria would be completely driven by this following standard for the AI. The next one is probabilistic system and non-deterministic systems. This cannot be evaluated with precise acceptance criteria. When working correctly, the system may return slightly different results for the same test. Why we don't have an acceptance criteria for this? The reason, of course, is when you talk about the word probability, there is no right answer to that. There could be several possible answers which are correct. So certainly we cannot have a very specific acceptance criteria determined here. So we do say that it just as far as it is working correctly and giving you the right possible results, it's absolutely fine. All right, so adding a few more here, of course, we do have the next one is side effects. So acceptance criteria for that could be identify potentially harmful side effects and attempt to generate tests that cause the system to exhibit these side effects. So all we have to do is, of course, conduct those activities and executions which results into these possible side effects to measure them. And if it certainly does that, that meets your desired expectation and will be accepted as one of the valid acceptance criteria. Talking about transparency, interpretability, and explainability, here the acceptance criteria could be one, check transparency by reviewing the ease of accessing the algorithm and data sets. So this goes in line with the same. Talking about interpretability, check interpretability and ex, uh, explainability by questioning systems, uh, users or its actual system users are not available, then talk to the people with a similar background. I think we just got repeated with this, right? Uh, something wrong with my own slide deck. <laughs> reward hacking is another new one. Independent test can identify reward hacking when these tests use a different means of measuring success compared to the intelligent agent being tested. So reward hacking is more of like how exactly the computer works with you and when you play against the computer. So they look forward to kind of like take away from your moves and start playing smartly as an AI system. Okay, talking about safety, of course, safety goes in line with this needs to be carefully evaluated, perhaps in a virtual test environment. This could include attempts to force a system to cause itself a harm. So, of course, safety is one way from the external environment for sure. One is, of course, sometimes you do check that if the AI system can be manipulated in order to destroy itself. So that could be one of the specific key acceptance criteria, what we could include right into consideration when it comes to the safety as a quality characteristics to be measured. Well, that was quick and to the point topic about acceptance criteria of AI specific quality characteristics. And that's all from this particular tutorial. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.